Hey, how's it going, everybody? It's Hot Wheels Fan 46 here, and today we are doing a review on the 1994 edition Racing Champions Bobby Labonte. Now, you see, he drove from Maxwell House. That's a beautiful Pontiac, by the way. I love those old Pontiacs. It's a shame I don't see them anymore. Let's see, the last Pontiac I remember in NASCAR, um, they drove one. Uh, it was a Tide Pontiac. It was for 2003. And I heard after the 2003 season, they would no longer be using Pontiacs anymore. So that's kind of a shame right there. But the Tide car looks so beautiful. The last we'll ever see of Pontiac. But unfortunately, they closed their doors in 2009 or in 2010, based on my knowledge. But here we got a 164 scale diecast, a Racing Champions display stand. I love these display stands. This is the cool thing about them. And a display card right there. And back here. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of trademark stuff. I mean, they actually had to get all this uh, stuff too in order to put sponsors on the car. So, pause that if you like to read it. All the drivers. Oh, goodness. Okay, let's see. So, when did he drove for Maxwell House? Well, let's see. Um, he drove this car in the 1994 season. So, it says here, uh, Bobby Labonte achieved his major success as a car owner when uh, his Bush Series driver, David Green, won the championship. It was the second championship in the fifth top five points finish in five years for Bobby Labonte Racing. He also ran in the Bush Series himself, making 12 starts and earning a victory at Michigan in August of 1994. In addition to his Bush Series exploits, I believe, Bobby continued racing or running full-time in the Winston Cup Series for Bill Davis Racing. He clicked it on top 5 and top 10s, two top 10s, and finished 21st in the standings, just Missing out on the top 20 because of Todd Bodine's two position points standing gain in the final race of the season. So that's what I have to read off right there. Yeah, it's such a beautiful car. And if you're wondering um, uh, who was the previous driver for uh, Max Wellhouse, well, apparently the previous driver was. Um, Sterling Marlin, who drove the Ford Thunderbird for the 1991 and 1992 season. And uh, if you're wondering, when did Bobby start driving for uh, Max Wellhouse? Well, he started driving for Bill Davis Tapped Labonte for his first full-time ride in NASCAR Top Division in 1993. Driving the number 22 Max Wellhouse Ford Thunderbird for the 1993 season. So, yeah, 1993 is when he... Started driving for um, Maxwell House. Now, that's a little history right there I want to read. Now let's get this car out of the packaging, shall we? Um, try to be gentle here. <sighs> Those packagings. Oh, see, they really want to open. It's time we free them out of the package. At once. Be free. Here we go. Bobby Labonte, 1994. Here's his card right here. Born in May 8th, 1964. Trinity, North Carolina. The free display stand right here. This is what I really love about these display stands. And the beautiful car itself. Hmm. Trying to see how it uh, rolls well. Right back. Take a while to get used to it. Normally, that's normal for the early racing champions to not roll well sometimes because of how many years they've been in the package. We got Maxwell House, Pontiac Grand Prix. Such a beautiful car. I might change my mind on this fourth Thunderbird. I'm trying to get the camera here. A 
Love that metallic blue. Yeah, 1991 copyright racing champions. So we need all that stuff here. Now let's move over here and get a close-up shot of the car. So it's a beautiful car. Come on now. Gonna roll it around, roll it around. Still rolls good. Takes a while for it to get used to. I'm so glad and grateful to have this car in my collection. This is a very good review of the Maxwell House Bobby Labonte car for 1994. I might use this in my stop motion if I can. But anyways, let's put everything back together. Give me a minute. Anyways, everyone, that is all it for today. This is Bobby Labonte's 1994 Maxwell House Pontiac Grand Prix by Racing Champions, 164 scale. These are the blacked out windows. Not many people are big fans of that. Uh, for whatever reason, it's okay with me. I don't know, maybe it doesn't bother me that much. But anyways, subscribe, comment, like the video, and uh, have a great day. And this is such a cool car. And I might get his fourth Thunderbird someday for the 1993 season. That one from Racing Champions. It would be nice to get the hauler if I could find one. But I only found this car. So it's a beautiful car. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.